Welcome to The Defined Lens. Here's five simple steps you can follow if you are interested in starting your own photography newsletter. All the necessary links would be in the description down below. That's coming up. My name is Hendrik Kapp. I run The Defined Lens full-time, making it possible for you to turn your hobby into a full-time career, whether that's with photography or videography. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So you came here today to see the five simplest ways that you can start your own photography newsletter. Let's get into that right away. Step number one. Figure out what type of newsletter you want to send out to people. Would you like more subscribers on YouTube? Do you want people to click on a link and it takes them to a certain website? Would you like to gain more clients in general? Figure out what type of newsletter you want to send and then you can go straight into step number two. Step number two. Gather all the necessary information for your newsletter before you go ahead and send everything out to your clients. Make 100% sure your content is correct and that your newsletter has a certain purpose. A good way to figure out what type of newsletter you want to send people is by going on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and even blog posts as well. Do some research on what type of newsletter you want to do before you go ahead and send anything out. Step number three. Go ahead and design your template. Everyone has different tastes, so something that works for you isn't necessarily going to work for someone else. Make sure you keep your clients in mind when you create your template, make it clean and professional. There's a lot of places where you can go to download free templates. Some of my favorite places to look for templates would be Creative Blog and PSD Templates Blog. They are all free templates for you to use. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description down below. Step number four. Make 100% sure your words and images are as professional as it can get. Make sure your font is easy to read. The words must enable people to want to click on a link or want to call you for a photo shoot. And then the images has to be professional for all your newsletters. Don't just add a lot of images together and send it out. Pick the best ones and send only those out to any of your clients. Your clients doesn't have to see all of your images. Step number five. When you're choosing your subject line, make sure you use words that would enable people to wonder what they are going to see once they click on your newsletter. Almost like clickbait, but it has to do something with the newsletter and it shouldn't mislead any client whatsoever. This way, you'll lose clients. So make sure it has something to do with the newsletter itself. A few examples would be words like the average working professional receives 121 emails a day. So choose your subject line and go ahead send out that newsletter that is it for today's video please leave a comment if you have any questions and remember all the links are in the video description down below and as always be defined